Hello everybody, this is Viper, also known as Zwan of Clan TDG, and today I'm bringing you another Galaxy Editor tutorial, and today we're going to talk about the Terrain Brush Palette, and I'm going to go through each of the brushes in the Terrain Brush Palette, and talk about them a little bit, and give you some examples, and uh, get you on your way to familiarizing yourself with the Terrain Brush Palette, so go ahead and open up a new map, and we'll get started. Okay, now that you've got your map open, go ahead and hit T. That's going to open up the Terrain Brush Palette, and that's going to be your hotkey. That's always going to bring you back to the Terrain Brush Palette, and I'm going to give you a quick overview of the basic settings that you're going to find before we dive into the actual brushes themselves. So uh, the first thing that we're going to see is we're going to see the brushes themselves, and these are the various ways that you can manipulate the terrain. Uh, our second row of buttons here are going to be our operations and these are basically going to be the types of actions you can apply to those brushes and they're just all simple things like smudge and erase and fill and things like that uh, very similar to what you might find in Photoshop our third row of options we're going to find are going to be our actual tiles from our tile set these are predetermined uh, from the tile set that you chose when you open the map so for now these are going to be the only ones that you can select uh, our next set of options are going to be increment size and speed. Uh, increment is a lot like the strength or the pressure that you would uh, use in Photoshop for your brushes. They're going to determine uh, how hard or how soft a texture is applied to the map. Uh, size is going to change the size of your uh, your brush. Pretty simple. Uh, they, the, the grid map I believe is uh, four a size of four by default so you can uh, you can go four by four if you want with your brush sizes but you are free to make them whatever size you want and your final option is going to be speed and it just determines the speed at which the texture is applied to the uh, the map itself and then you've got your shape options uh, very self-explanatory you've got circle square and rectangle and then you've got your style options and you can think of these a lot like uh, different types of paint brushes or tools that you would use to apply paint to a canvas and your first option is actually going to be a airbrush and that's going to give you just a light airbrush type uh, texture and then you're going to have paint an actual paint brush which is going to be much thicker and then you've got your noise and noise is uh, if you've used any kind of graphics or editing programs noise is just like kind of like adding uh, dust and particles to a to a flat background it's just in this case the noise is actually going to look like whatever uh, tile you chose so in this case you'll see my noise is going to look like green grass and you can just kind of spot that around wherever you want it's pretty light you can change the increment to make it thicker and more pronounced as you see fit and then your final option is going to be Fr the fractal brush or the fractal style and this is a lot like uh, using a sponge to get like a blotty type uh, texture going on and again I'll just up the increment just a little bit so you can see because you don't want it, it when you're using the noise and the fractal you definitely want to keep your uh, pressure low or your increment low just to uh, so it doesn't look like you're actually painting because these are supposed to be like spot type situations so you'll see I'm getting a blotty and it's also randomized too and you can change the variability which is just gonna make it uh, more or less random see the lower it is it looks more like just kinda like the noise but then if I put the variability all the way up it's gonna change I'm gonna have more uh, open spots of grass or uh, sand actually so and then your resolution is just gonna either make it higher or lower resolution so um, that's pretty much it for the overview and uh, stick around for the next part okay and now that I've given you a basic overview I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the operations and these uh, once again are the actions that you can apply to your terrain brushes so let's go ahead and get started the very first one is pretty self-explanatory but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you anyway and that's gonna be the add texture operation and basically this just adds a texture to your map uh, so you can pick uh, whatever tile set you want I'm gonna use the grass and as you see it just places some grass on the map so quite easy and we'll go ahead and get rid of that and that will bring us right into our second option which is remove texture and that's basically just your erase so 
you know you add some texture then you go to remove texture and boom your annoying mess up is gone and then we'll go to the third option which is going to be uniform texture now what this does is it's going to create a solid block of texture with, without any randomization and it's not going to have any uh, blurred edges or rough edges now you uh, the only setting that you really uh, might wonder about is the alpha setting and this is basically just essentially setting the transparency so you'll see I'm gonna go ahead and it was dialed all the way to 255 and we have a nice solid texture and then when I crank it down to 72 you see we have this like really thin transparent so uh, basically alpha is just gonna be transparency as far as that's concerned and we'll go ahead and get rid of that. I'm using a really small brush, so it's taking a while, but just blot that out real quick. And then our fourth option is going to be replace texture. Now, basically, what this is going to do is it's going to replace uh, the actual uh, tile set from the map. So this is not really like painting and erasing. Uh, this is an actual uh, hard replacement, and uh, it's kind of laggy. So I recommend that you don't use it um, if you can help it but I am going to give you an example of it so first of all I'm going to go ahead and go back to add texture and I'm going to add some grass and then we're going to go back to replace texture and I'm going to choose a tile uh, on one side you have the tile selected that you uh, want to replace is going to be the one over here on the left and then on the right side you're going to choose what to replace it with and I'm going to choose this uh, bricks large and I'm just going to hover over that grass and bam you see I've uh, replaced it and I missed a little line right there so and that's pretty much how that works and you'll see uh, when you go back and try to erase it you can't because you have actually there's nothing to erase you've replaced this sand with the brick is what I did so um, or that grass with the brick so only use that in extreme cases and then we'll move on to uh, smudge textures and this is just like any kind of a Photoshop operation let's go ahead and get some grass We'll put a nice big chunk in there and then you'll see I can smudge this grass out into the sand and you've got a strength setting which is just like your pressure like anything else you can you can set it really low and it'll, you can just barely see the smudging or you can dial it all the way up and really see the smudging and then you can uh, of course uh, go the other way I can smudge the sand into the grass or the grass back out into the sand so that's your smudge pretty self-explanatory but just want to give you some quick examples and our next option is going to be blur textures and again this one's pretty easy too I'm going to use two different tiles just to show you exactly how this works and it's it's just it's pretty simple I've got it turned all the way up to 255 on the increment for the strength just so you can see it clearly in this demonstration but uh, as you can see I'm blurring the edges of this tile here so getting a nice blur and this is going to be really handy when you're using uh, two different tile sets or if you're perhaps merging cliffs or something like that so that's your blur option and then your final option is going to be fill texture and this is another graphics heavy uh, lag fest so be careful with this one too but uh, this essentially works just like fill in Photoshop and it just fills your whole canvas with whatever tile you select so you see we have this sand as our uh, default background so let's try uh, let's try the the dark dirt and we'll do a fill and it's it's a little bit laggy it takes a few seconds for everything to uh, compute and there you go now the whole map is now dark dirt instead of that sand so pretty simple and uh, that's going to wrap up this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and this is going to be probably a three part tutorial. So thanks for watching part one and look out for part two coming soon. Thanks for watching guys. My style is UFO. Totally unknown, you can't fuck with my new Zeph flow. I'm hard to miss, you're going to this, you're going to that, you're fucking new set. So I do it a lot, too hot to handle, too cold to hold. You can't fuck with the chosen one. I, 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 I want to knock your armor.